Nobody wins when the family feels Keep it short like a burger box 200k on the AP Boogers on the beat like a four out of walk I eat the free for the free night Shoot straight through the tree I never shoot through metal things Let him play, he know he dead Hey, I hit him in the head Hey, hey, hey Eight years old with a bank roll Strong one, nigga, no can't fall He stuck to me right here Like, the whole time Like, I, I DM'd him And I was like, man Man, where you at? You in the city? And you know, he just a little man, you know, king, he, yeah, man, yeah, ooh, ooh. And all I can do is shake my head, like, damn, like, like, damn, uh, I want to get the young the way. I want to get the young out the streets, like, I don't, I don't want that for the young. King Mama Tiffany, you know me. And I just wanted to say to y'all, it's lies being told. I'm not on crack. I just did 22 months at the Bellafone. Charge them why you get caught, you get smacked, and gonna strip you. And that's on your memory life. Joaquin, you know the little boy made a video about me. The little boy threatened everything. You know I'm finna call CPS on Um, on an IG Live one day, and I was like, this kid's too advanced. And it's, it's, it's not normal for uh, the average 10 year old. Well, well, just say he wasn't getting in trouble with the court system. When they, when they give him a psychological evaluation, and they hear how advanced he is in his street terminology, how he can associate shooting dice with homie. That's how they justify certifying kids at 12 years old and sending them to prison. Because when they see a kid like King, the whole objective of the criminal justice system is to take somebody and keep them locked up what they call their prime crime years. So when they see a kid like King already out of CPS, uh, so now, nah, homie, that's how they justify taking a kid and, and, and locking him up to they 40, to they 30, because the level of advance of his criminality, his criminal mindset. You cannot take a kid like King and put him with other 10 years old and think he ain't gonna do grown stuff with those 10 year olds. Information on everyone involved. Yes, ma'am. You know, oh, no, no, I, I don't want mine to be confidential. Y'all can't. I want mine to be identified. I want them to know I did it because I work with children and it's an obligation to report something when you think children are in danger. Interview. You call you went viral for calling CPS on finesse two times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was legit. Yeah, I really did. I really did call CPS on. This woman arrested attempted first degree murder. Just do me one favor, family. At the conclusion of this video, I just got one question that I would like y'all to answer. You think we should be thankful that God placed on this rapper heart to take on this 10 year old kid, especially knowing the information we about to discuss today? Now, the reason I'm asking that question is because if a person who we are later discuss didn't try and bash this situation and expose it to the public, the media wouldn't know. You can't know everything from the outside looking in, no matter how it looked. And this is important because it seemed as if though police games was put in the picture and it really looked like a man abusing and playing with authorities for Instagram Live. But then again, that's the outside looking in. So I'm gonna present the facts and you guys let me know how you feel based on the information that's public that we'll discuss. As you guys might know by now, based on the title, a 10 year old kid from Memphis who recently been in the limelight for being under the wing of the Memphis rap star Finesse two times. The guy go by Lord King. He recently dropped some music that went trending on YouTube, which we'll later discuss. But his mom had recently been incarcerated after allegedly stabbing her mom with scissors. And the crazy part is all this was done in front of three more of her kids. So we're going to break this one down and make sure we still keeping in mind that we all humans that make mistakes. But first, Remember, family, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to jump right to it. This young kid is 10 years old and go by FNG Lil King. He's a rapper, and he have a couple music videos on YouTube. His latest song was a track called Gorilla Mode. It featured Finesse two times. It was released 11 days ago. It managed to get over a million views and counting. On the AP, Booga said on the beat like a four out of wild. I eat the free for the free 99. I eat the beat for the free all the time. Now, Lil King would hang under Finesse two times that people would start insinuating that that was his kid until he spoke up about the situation. He stuck to me right here, like, the whole time. Like, I, I DM'd him, and I was like, man, man, where you at? You in the city? And you know, he just a little man, you know, King, he, yeah, man, yeah, ooh, ooh. And all I could do is shake my head, like, damn, like, like, damn, uh, I want to get the young the way. 
I want to get the young guy out the streets. Like, I don't, I don't want that for the young. But, but I understand this right here too, though. King ain't had nobody. He ain't had no, no, no guide. Or, so everything that he done learned in the street since he been able to understand what's going on. Little do y'all know, he set in his ways. Y'all have to meet him. Like, he, King is a real product of Memphis, Tennessee. King is a real product of, 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 of the Memphis City streets. I'm just gonna be honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he's the example of what happened when you misguided in Memphis. He is who I used to be coming up. He what I seen when I was growing up. I mean, when I was coming up, he what I was. You know what I'm saying? And all I did was try to save him. Man, 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 I, I paid $5,000 a month for King to go to private school. I got King out the hood. I gave King family a blessing. Uh, Kind of, sort of like how God did black youngster, but King just young. You know, he, he went and got black youngster out the gutter, like, and I, he just young, and I went and got him out the gutter. Now, the things, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. The things that they see King doing, they don't know that there's naturally him. Like, there's naturally, ain't nobody making him doing, ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't been knowing this man a month. I ain't been knowing King a month. I ain't been, he ain't been around me number like two and a half weeks. Y'all got, I have to take my time with the type of trauma that he done been through. You see what I'm saying? He only 10 years old. He is go around me. He gonna grow to be a real deal King. And y'all don't know that. Because guess what? I don't dump no more. I don't rob and kick those no more. I rap. I make music. I get money. I rap about what I used to do. I live good in there. See what I'm saying? I live good in there. Elevators at the spot shit. You know what I'm saying? I drive good in there. You know what I'm saying? So, so being around me, you know what I'm saying? Being around me ain't no bad thing. You know what I'm saying? I ride good in the mall. You know what I'm saying? I'm living good in the mall. You see what I'm saying? I'm living good in hell now, you see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't live like that no more, so for the people that trying to make it seem like I live a dangerous lifestyle, why I live with the white people now, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I live now, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't do what I used to do, you see what I'm saying? I don't live like I used to live, you see what I'm saying? So get what? So get what? The boy around greatness. Y'all don't like the boy around greatness. Bro, what they really try hate. For it's because he's 10 years old, he a kid, and he lit. They ain't litter than they kid. Yeah, they acting like they don't owe oh, him, 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 but really hating, dry hating on the young man. The young nigga popping and having more money than the mother, see what I'm saying? You know, what y'all with this young nigga for? He out the hood now. He ain't on nothing. This young nigga, nothing. This young nigga around me all day and do this right here and talk his shit. Pop his little shit. I'm gonna let him do him. I'm gonna let him be him. Now, a lot of people had mixed feelings about the situation, but like we said in the beginning, we don't know everything from the outside looking in. A social media influencer that go by the name of Charleston White like nothing about this situation. And if you know about Charleston White, you know he's gonna voice his opinion to his audience. After trying to edit the clip so many times of him initiating the first laugh, it just didn't work. So, I'm gonna let you hear the response from Lil' King after hearing what Charleston White had to say about being under finesse two times. Charleston White, you get caught, you get smacked, and we gonna strip you. And that's on your memory life. You getting stripped. I swear to God, you gonna get stripped, fool. Talking about my leg. You gotta be kind of caught in Texas. You're scripting him. It ain't no nothing to talk about you getting scripted off the real. I swear to God, you get scripted. Everybody. You ain't gonna be somewhere 50 feet under. 
cool to play in. Think you joke? It's no joke. Come on. Who that mind playing with me, fool? We catch that mind, fool. We gon' strip his ass. Oh my god, my head. Who? What happened? On the right, right hand in the battle. What happened? Who that mind? I say I got this and finesse. Top shit. If we catch him and catch him, we're going to knock the beast out of him. I'm going to come up there, bro. You it ain't no doing no talking. He better have security. We're going to beat this. going to beat that man black and blue. Yeah, beat. It's over with. I'm through talking. You get talk, you have beat. I'm letting you know that right now. Fool, that man made a video talking about some. Oh, uh, yeah. I got all it. I catch it. Smack. What? He playing like that. Man. Hey, how we gonna beat this man, bro? He playing like that little crook. Oh God! You can say whatever about me. 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 He didn't bench something happened to him before, bro. He's quiet. He can say on some bullshit. I'm saying, who is this nigga? Bro, man, if he don't get counsel because of this. Who is this nigga? Bro, Charles and White, fool. Why the police say? I might say, man. I might say, you can tell you how he's shooting dice. He's been eating set off. What? My team, fool. Charles and White, now tell you what it is. Charles and White, you a real ho. Holy shit. You the police. The police. The police. The police. They want to hit them. Yeah, yeah, nigga, I ain't gonna play with Lil Crook. Nigga, know what's up with Lil Crook. Start. Start out loud. Hey, tell it to all the white. In your face. Kids, bro. We gonna beat that bitch. Look, we gonna beat this bitch, homie. This ain't no out of state. This is not like that, bro. You find out now. We gonna beat him in that mouth. Man, No, you got thumb, don't even mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at my boy. I'm gonna pull out my boy. I'm gonna pull out my boy. Let's go buy a bulletproof helmet or something, man. Do something. Oh, what? I'm all better than you, man. I don't catch that bucket and do some meal for your side. Uh, we gonna eat good. Come on, man. I'm gonna put him on y'all. Now, going back and forth with the 10 year old is crazy. But Charleston White have responded to this in a clip that took me hours to edit because of his cursing. He decided to call Child Protective Service all while having his Instagram followers see the whole thing. The little boy gonna be rich, don't know how to fight. He don't know how to fight. He he way up in his time. And if they put him on the board around, he might want to do that. Man, he's got to write and talk to He gonna keep fighting. I gotta see that. I gotta see that. I'm finna put it on. That little boy go. You ain't going out like that. That little boy go end up killing somebody, and he gonna be a cool bird, but he gonna end up. A that little boy, he gonna be a cool at first. He he the cock out till he starts stealing out people first, cause he can't supply. Dope. We done seen this story before. We done seen. Ain't nothing new about this story, real. Listen, don't get shit and go strip me. And go strip me. Did you hear the bitch? Did he say they gonna strip me? Listen. This little boy will be sentenced harshly by a judge. This little I bet right now he don't know three times three. Stupid. He can't read a whole paragraph. My grandma on my grandma's head. Say this is a demon possessed child. This is a cursed child, homie. This ain't a blessed child. This is a what? demonic baby. Listen to this little boy cussing me out. I ain't never heard a kid talk like this before. Never in my mother. And I want a crushing kid. I ain't calling Texas. Yeah. It ain't no nothing to talk about. You getting screwed. Yeah, it's gonna be somewhere 50 feet under. 50 feet under. So he don't even know nothing. Yeah, let me call child protective service. Yeah, they got the right at it. And this feels good knowing that he's gonna be put somewhere safe. And from around, man, what's you? I'm calling it right now. Memphis. Child said, baby, and them need me. They threatening my life. Hey, man, I'm scared. Memphis Child Protective Services. Shot down. I'm not making no anonymous call. I'm leaving my name. I'm on. Thank you, Friday. Oh, until I need the 1 800 number.
We are closed for all state holidays. I need to one eight hundred number. I'm a zombie afraid for my life. Party you are trying to reach, I'm you may press the star key for a directory. If you want to report child abuse or neglect, please call one eight seven seven two three seven zero zero. What was that number again, y'all? One eight seven seven zero for an operator. Shit, I didn't get that number. I need it. It was one. Trying to get him. Yeah, he, he ain't playing. I ain't playing. I'm dead serious. I'm for the well being of children. So when I see kids in danger, I'm reporting it. Yeah, they, yeah, I play dirty. They don't talk to the people. Okay, so before we get into those concerns, I do need to collect some basic information on everyone involved. Yes, ma'am. I want to let you know that your identity has been referred in confidential by state law. Oh, no, no. I, I don't want mine to be confidential. I, I want mine to be identified. I want them to know I did it because I work with children, and it's an obligation to report something when you think children are in danger. Okay, what's your name? Charleston White. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just like Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. And how do you know the child that the child? Uh, I, I, I don't. I got a video that was sent to me uh, that was made by this child online uh, making threats. Uh, there's videos of this child in the clubs at night with, with convicts. He's a popular little rapper. So I have a, I have a video uh, that I can send that you guys really can pull up on YouTube. Uh, called Lil' King Goes In on Charleston White. So just some of the things that he was saying in his video with the adults around him and then the other videos that's surfacing online with him being in clubs uh, were, were, were almost every rap event that these guys have been at, they've had shootings. Okay, give me just a moment here. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Mr. White, are you familiar with our email notification process? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not. Could you, could you explain it to me? So if you provide us an email address at the end of the report, we'll send you a link to the website, our website, where you can go to track the referral, and it'll let you know if the referral will be cut here before you be able to be involved. Okay, yes, ma'am. Now, the reason why I see this is important is because Finesse two times is still on federal probation, as he even mentioned in one of his lives. So to be calling CPS for somebody who possibly doing something good because you from the outside looking in, voicing your opinion on why it's not, can totally go wrong. Now, in the midst of all this, before the recent allegations, people wanted to know where was King Mom. Well, she had went to Instagram Live and uploaded this video. Now, a lot of people felt bad for King Mom after that live, and this made Charleston White felt more compelled to go help her. It seems that Say Cheese had reported just two days ago that Charleston White had bought Lil' King's mom a brand new car after finding out her situation. He also got her credit fixed and created an LLC. Now, I don't know how he did all that in such short period of time or the accuracy of that post, but it was posted on a reputable platform, so we just have to commend him. Now, it seems less than 24 hours, all that backfired. But within that time, he went on Say Cheese and gave an interview. And one of the clips... Yeah. Now, before we get started, before we really like dig in this interview, you call you went viral for calling CPS on finesse two times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was legit. Yeah, I really did. I really did call CPS on it. Yeah, I really did call CPS. Uh, for one, uh, what I saw, I saw a crime being committed. Uh, even though people think it's a game, uh, I seen a kid, a ten-year-old kid who was making terroristic threats, uh, saying what he was gonna do to me, that he was gonna bury me. And, and when you do the type of work that I've been doing for the last 10 years, uh, you don't take no children threats lightly because who are the new killers? The 10 year olds, the 11 year olds, the 12 year olds. For one, they don't have the brain capacity to understand not to do it. So they'll do everything they say they'll do. So. When I seen that 10 year old kid, Lil King, making those threats in the manner in which he was making them with the tone that he was making them. And you hear finesse two times in the background. Then you got these two grown men that's getting on camera and they also making the threats. So uh, I was reporting the crime of a child uh, who I believe was being put uh, in a very dangerous situation uh, who was conspiring openly uh, to commit an act of violence. 
you call CPS, it goes viral on, on online. Uh, does Finesse reach out to you? Uh, I think he's on federal probation. At this point, I'm a victim. I don't think he would reach out to me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a what victim. About Lil Kim? I'm a victim of a crime. They were making threats against me, saying what they would do with me. You can't do that. That's against the law. Kid or not. W what about Lil King's parents? Oh uh, yeah, I, I uh, I, I've been I've been in contact with his mother. Uh, some people reached out to me because I wanted to help the mother, so I, I made a call to help the mother. Uh, however, we can help her. Uh, for me to know that a ten year old kid. Is, is living on the streets and, 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 and nobody in the community, no nonprofits, nobody in the community can grab this kid and put him in a better environment than this rapper who's been in prison for the last six or seven years, who's also institutionalized, who got three women. Come on now, homie, this, this kid is in the club at night. So in my mind, Memphis can't be that fucked up. Where this is the only save, this is the only person that can really save this kid, right? Why just help the baby? The baby still have to, his mama and them suffering. So I'm saying if you really want to help the kid, help the people who he live with. Send him back to them, put the kid in a better environment. So uh, I made a call, say, man, I'm trying to find his mother. Uh, shout out to Miss Antoinette, a lady from Facebook, a new mom, uh, put me in contact with mom. I had some people. Uh, shout out to my brother Kwame, uh, some brothers out of California, man, reached out to me and said, say, man, we want to help the mother. Uh, and so not only did we help the mother, we helped the friend who, who helped us find the mother, uh, start cleaning her credit. So we get, got them with the right kind of financial advisors that can, for one, start working on their credit and helping them start an LLC, helping them start a business, right? So then... I went and got a car, homie, they need a car. So we got a 2023 mm. 20, 20, brand new Pathfinder, only 200 and something miles on it. So I had it delivered to me in, in Las Vegas when I was at Vegas at the time. Uh, so it's still in Vegas right now. So I'm trying to have the car shipped down there to her. Uh, so yeah, homie, I, 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 yeah, homie she, uh, she all Memphis, that's all I can say. She good people, she, she all Memphis though. Wow. So Charleston White bought Lil King's mama car. Yeah. We, and, 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 and let me just say this. Shout out, shout out to Kevin Gates, homie. Uh, I sent Kevin Gates a message thinking that he knew what was going on. I said, say, homie, I found Lil, found out who Lil King's mom is, man. She just got out of prison. Uh, she don't even have money to get a cell phone and buy clothes because this is the struggle of most people coming home trying to re-enter back into society from prison. They don't have their birth certificate. They don't have driving license. They don't have ID. They don't have a cell. So I cash out some money. I hit my nigga Kevin Gates up. He hit me back and said, I don't know what's going on. Whatever you need, big brother. Whatever you need, big brother. Just let me know, big brother. I got you. Homie, that's love. That's love. That's love. And, and I like that it's not even on the internet yet. Nah. Like you did all that with, with genuine intentions. Uh, I, 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 I didn't want it to be on the internet, homie. Uh, because, because, uh, it wasn't for the internet. No, no, no. Even though I done it on the internet, uh, I wouldn't have never knew anything about this kid if this kid didn't have grown folks around him letting him attack and disrespect another grown person. So just think about this. They really believe I'm 53 years old. So to a 10-year-old kid, what street nigga? Once again, shout out to Say Cheese. That's one of many clips from an interview that he'll be releasing to Charleston White. You guys should go over there and check him out. Now, after having Lil King's mom in the media about allegedly helping her, it seems as if though, just less than 24 hours after that recent clip was released, she would find herself in some trouble. On the last day of May of 2023, it was reported coming out of Memphis that Tiffany Moore, 39 years old, was a woman who ended up stabbing her mom eight times with scissors, according to authorities. Now, thank God, Lord King's grandmother has survived. And also, thank God that his siblings was at the home as well, because his sister had ended up broke up the fight and took scissors out of her grandmother's neck. Memphis Police Department responded to warning on Davis Street on Monday. Police said Moore's daughter saw Tiffany stab her grandmother. According to the affidavit, Moore asked if her mother was alive and admitted to the stabbing. 
Yeah. Send prayers and love to the grandmother and her family. Now, I know this was kind of a lot, family, but it was a lot that wasn't put in this video as well. I tried to bring you guys the full context of how all this bubbled up into this point. Now, based on the information that was provided, are you upset or are you happy and thankful that Finesse took time, took the liking of this 10 year old kid and was able to help him in any way, shape or form, especially based on the information that was provided thus far. And like we said at the beginning as well, you can never know everything from the outside looking in. Family, let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.